Hello, my name is Roman Mironov and in this video I will look at the only bug fix introduced in Omega-T version 308 update 1. This bug fix is making it possible to use the remove tags option with Microsoft Office files safely. Before I show you the actual bug and its fix, let's spend a few minutes discussing the remove tags option itself. I have a project opened in Omega-T version 307. Let's open the source file to take a look at it. Okay, here we have bold formatting and italic formatting across three segments. As you see, Omega T presents this bold formatting with these tags and italic formatting with these tags. But it also displays this tag, which is clearly superfluous and unnecessary. So, using The remove tags option allows you to make a Mega T hide absolutely all tags, providing you with exceptionally clean segments, which will also include removing this superfluous tag. So I enable remove tags in the project properties and reload the project. Here we go. Okay, this is actually the second file, Excel file, but doesn't matter. Okay, so all tags are gone. At this point, it is also worth noting that you can achieve a similar or close to this effect by just hiding leading and trailing tags. Okay, I will disable this option for now. And I will enable this option, remove leading and trailing tags. All right, as you see, the leading tag and the trailing tags are gone. But of course these tags that are in the middle of the segment are intact. But let's get back to the remove tags option now. Okay, we'll disable this one and we'll enable remove tags back again. Hiding tags with remove tags option makes it easier to work on the translation because obviously you don't have any tags to worry about. Especially you don't have to worry about the superfluous tags. But at the same time you obviously lose all formatting. It. For example in this case Omega T we made Omega T hide the italic tags. And when we create Translated documents. What we get is no italic. Of course, you will need to restore italic yourself in this situation, like this. I think this is. A very serious drawback for production use because making this type of change to translated files is impractical. After you do so, you can no longer update your translations by simply changing them in a T and recreating the translated files. You are now tied to the translated file that you changed manually. If it happens so that you need to make global changes afterwards, you will need that to do them directly in the translated file.
and then also repeat the same changes in MIGT if you want to keep your translation memory current. And of course, this type of procedure is suboptimal compared to making changes in MIGT only and simply recreating the translated files, in which case you only make the change once in MIGT. In my opinion, this drawback limits the remove text option to just those files that do not have any formatting at all. At this point, you might wonder why we would want to use the remove text options on files that have no formatting to begin with. And this is a good question. But remember that apart from formatting tags, Microsoft Office files have unnecessary superfluous tags, often referred to as the tag soup. Let's return to my Microsoft Word file and use it as an example. Right now it has formatting. And what I will do now is remove all formatting. Like this. Okay, so no more formatting. I will save it now. And I will now return to my Omega T project and reload it. Okay. As you see, I removed the bold and italic tags, so they're gone, but I also now get this tag, which is clearly superfluous, and I don't need it. And this is where the option remove tags comes in very handy, because Hiding them with this option is a very viable alternative to using code zapper, sometimes even a superior one, because code zapper may fail to remove some tags, whereas this option will definitely hide everything. As you see, there are no tags, including that one superfluous tag. All right, now actually to the bug and its fix. Until recently, enabling the remove tags option sometimes resulted in almost empty translated word files. Note this tag. This tag is called the leading tag, and this one is called the trailing tag. The reason for a MegaD to create almost empty translated word files was that it pushes all tags to segments when it generates translated files in case you enable remove tags option. Let's see how, it, how this thing works. Okay, I'm going to remove it. So, alright, anyway, let's first try to reproduce what a MegaT does. Okay, first I'm going to remove all tags, and then I'm going to insert them at the end of the segment. So, a MegaT essentially does this. It pushes all tags to the end of the segment and then the, it inserts the translation here. Let's now enable remove tags. Okay, enable. So here, even though we do not see how MegaT pushes the text to the end of the segment because this happens in the background. This is exactly what happens. Let's try to generate the translated file and see what happens. All right. Okay. In this case, we end up with no translations at all with empty lines. 
This was actually caused by another Omega T bug. Anything placed before leading tags or after trailing tags is omitted in translated files. I will not go into detail about that tag now, about that bug now. What is important for us to understand right now is this. With the remove tags enabled, a magnet was pushing all tags to the end of segments automatically. All the text ended up before leading tags and as a result of the above tag was omitted in translated files. Okay, let's try to reproduce what a mega T does once again. It pushes all tags to the end of the segment and then because you effectively place your translation before the leading tag, a mega T emits it because of another bug. Although this main bug, the emission of text placed before leading and trailing tags still exists, the remove tags option has been fixed. The solution is simple. Whenever the remove tags option is checked, a mega T automatically enables this option, remove leading and trailing tags. To show you this bug fix, I will now switch to version 308 update 1, the one we are looking at in this video. Alright, I'm now in the Mega T version 308 update 1. I will enable the remove tags option <coughs> and in the background Mega T automatically enables this option, remove leading and trailing tags. By removing leading and trailing tags, a Mega T does not push leading tags to the end of segments anymore and therefore does not put any tags before those leading tags. Let's see what this means in terms of the translated files. We'll now open the translated file. And as you see, the translation actually made it to the translated files, whereas in the previous version 307 it was omitted. So no tags, no text before leading tags means no text will be omitted in translated files. So this is the work the workaround used in Omega T version 308 update 1 to fix the remove tags option. For a detailed explanation of the option that controls hiding just the first and the last tags in segments, check out the video called Remove Leading and Trailing Tags Option in Omega T in my channel. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.